Ah. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Happy <laughs> Tuesday. Thank you. <laughs> now, you've taught teenagers. Yes, I have. <laughs> Where were you and what were you teaching them? Um, I used to teach languages, French and German, to teenagers in state schools in England and Northern Ireland. Wow. Now, a lot of people would be a little bit of afraid of that proposition. What yes. would you say <laughs> to a CELTA trainee who is about to go off and teach a load of teenagers in a school somewhere in Turkey? Okay, well, if they're concerned, rightly so. <laughs> but <laughs> there is a difference between teaching teenagers who want to learn English, I think, than British teenagers who are not really that interested in learning French or German. Um, but so the first thing is motivation. If they are motivated, then that's going to make their life a lot easier. Um, other things are attention spans are really short of teen for teenagers, and um, just having to keep the pace really, like really fast and different activities, and making it fun for them. Are there particular kinds of topics that work well with teenagers, or can you just do anything with them? Um, it would be better if they were interested in it. Um, teaching French and German, teaching um, students things that were on the curriculum, for example, how to um, book a campsite was not particularly interesting because <laughs> the likelihood of them going to a camp in France or Germany is very unlikely. So, um, yeah, things that, they, things that they're going to need and things that they're going to want to do. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, how about discipline issues? Did you find that <laughs> problematic? <laughs> um, yes, <laughs> very problematic. Um, if they don't want to learn and if they get bored easily, then they will definitely tell you and they will show you and they will play up and they will distract other students and things like that. So again, it's just keeping them interested, keeping them motivated, fast-paced activities, quick changes between them because their attention spans are so short. Um, but also having rules in the classroom, that's definitely needed. Um, they, know, they need to know what's expected of them, they need to know the consequences, you need to follow through with the consequences, otherwise they won't believe you. Um, and as long as they know where they stand, then that should make it a lot easier. And lastly, um, what's good about it? <laughs> they are very fun. Um, they um, have lots of ideas and they're quite humorous and it feels, there is a difference between teaching adults. Adults can be quite serious and desperately need um, English for a certain exam or something like that. Teenagers um, tend to have a little bit more life about them, especially in the morning. They don't need coffee or anything to get them awake. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sarah. Okay.